tomorrow I have a table at a Norfolk Broads match game? Bow. I think bow. I'm not sure. It's roller derby and I'm going to be one of the vendors. Um, I think I've done everything that I wanted to get done for it and now I'm just kind of getting all my stuff together. I think I'm going to just pack up and then just like potter about a bit for the day because I, which light can show it off to its most beautiful. My eczema is having a really fun time which is what you want when you're going to spend a day trying to like make people buy things from you. But, so yeah, I want to just take it easy today and hope it calms down a bit because it's not nice to have to talk to people and look at people and stuff when something horrible is happening to your face and it's not, I try to not be bothered by it, but it isn't nice to have to, it's not nice. But anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to try and be relaxed and stuff today. I think I'm going to pack up, pour about a little bit. But yeah, I thought I would show what I'm going to take with me. So this is my pile of stuff. I have a couple of totes that I've made. And I've got my copies of my new zine. And then I've got the old monthly zines. I've got the pack of the 2016 and a pack of the 2017 with a couple of samples. I've made a sign for these zines. I've got my patches. I made my new header cards. I think they look really nice. I made these hammer bead pins. So I, I made header cards for that as well and packaged them all. The header cards, like as like all of them, like I have the key rings as well, like they, I think they go together nice but are still different. But yeah, I made key rings. They have little dangly bits on which I'm quite pleased with. And they say a little thing on the back. I'm really pleased with myself for thinking to add the beads. I think they really make the key ring like more interesting. I don't know, something. More dangly bits is a good thing. And then I have a lot of badges. I've got these collagey ones, and I've got these hand drawn ones, and these like printed badges. I've got a couple of sticker packs, and then I've also got this box of hand drawn stickers that I'm just going to sell like individually. People can have a rummage. I made these little signs to put up. And then I've got some business cards and some change. And I've got some bags. I had a couple of these left from a different time that I had a table. And then I bought these from Tiger. And then I need to get, find my tablecloth so that I can cover the table and I think that's really all I need to take. I don't think that I've forgotten anything that I will need. I mean I just need stuff and then people give me money for it. So I don't really need anything else do I? I have the stuff and they have the money. I think I've got everything, I think it's fine. I haven't mentioned yet that look I did my hair is green again and it's got pink at the back. I thought it would be quite cool. I mean I'm not gonna I don't know why I've taken my hair out because I'm not gonna be able to to show you one handed. But what I was thinking was that when it's tied up and then like in buns or something see I can't make it happen. But there would be like pink and green like swirled around in the bun and I thought that would look cute so that's like what I was thinking with putting it underneath. I think it's quite cool that from the front when my hair's tied up it will look like all green and then from the back it will look all pink. I think I might trim my fringe today. I really like being able to clip my fringe back and 
I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to trim my fringe and then get sad about how much more you can see my eczema and stuff. But there's not a lot I can do about the eczema and I shouldn't me make that... Like, I don't want to also have hair that I'm not completely happy with because I my face is upsetting me. Like, you know, like I can't really do anything about my skin, but I can make my hair how I want it to be. So I should cut my fringe rather than keeping it long so that you can't see my forehead. Like that seems like the, the wrong thing to do. I think I feel more like myself when my fringe is shorter. So I think I'm gonna cut it. There's a few bits that I'll need to clip back because I'm growing them out. But yeah, I think it's time to trim my fringe. My fringe is trimmed. I feel much more like myself again, which is nice. And I have just about finished packing. Here's my box. Everything is in here. Some business cards, stickers, totes. And then everything's like packed in there all nice. And then I've got a sheet to use as a tablecloth. My change box. Got some chocolate and some juice. I've got some crisps downstairs as well, and I've got, this was my to-do list, which is all crossed out, doesn't that look good? And then down here, my bus times. So, yeah, I'm all ready to go. Tuesday now. I needed a couple of days to like regroup because at the end of the day on Sunday all I could think about was the negatives of it because um, my social anxiety is really really bad and all I can really think about after something like that is how I just hid behind my table and didn't talk to anyone and when people came over I couldn't talk to them and I worry that people think I'm being really rude and mean and yeah, I just co concentrate on all of that bad stuff. So I need a couple of days to kind of get a more overall proper view of things. And it actually went really well. I sold more than I thought I would, which is really nice. I made a bit of money, which is needed. And um, people seem to really like stuff. Like there was quite a few people that came and like they looked at all my stuff and they it just seemed to, I don't know, their reactions were really good, like I just feel like I connected with some people through the work, like not personally because I'm a social mess and I was not connecting with people but I feel like my work was and that was really nice and it was really good seeing people like, I had like a little pot of stickers that people could look through and people were actually like picking them up and rummaging through them and they were like rooting through the badge baskets and that felt really good to see people really like looking at my stuff and enjoying it and that was really nice. It's also really good that being there as a vendor means that you get to watch the roller derby which is always fun. I've been, I think this is the third time? Second time? It's either the second or the third time that I've been there. Oh, I can't remember, I'm the worst. But I've seen it before and I saw it on Sunday and I really really enjoy it. I love, I love roller derby, it's good, good tough girls. It's, yeah, I'm glad that I did it. In the end, um, I was really worried about doing it. I was really worried I wasn't going to have enough stock. I was really worried that it wasn't going to be good stuff. I was worried it's the first time I've had a table at something since I stopped doing the crochet stuff. So I was really worried that I wasn't going to sell anything, that people weren't going to like my drawings. It's like the first time I've been out in the world behind my work with people looking at it. And I thought that it was going to go really horribly. And it didn't. People really liked it. So that was good. And it was... A good day, I'm, I'm glad that I went. 
for all the awkwardness, I mean awkward doesn't even cover it, I worry that saying that I'm going to be awkward makes people think that I'm just going to like ramble on or say something embarrassing or be a bit shy or whatever and it's just like, it's much more extreme than that. But, I did it and it went well and I'm glad that I did it and I think I can look back on it positively and yeah, I'm really hoping that now I can carry on having my productive positive mood that I had in the run up to it, I felt really creative and productive and it was good for me and I'm gonna keep hold of that and carry it on into the rest of my life and yeah, I'm really really glad that I went, it was good, it went well. <laughs>